In this segment, you're going to write your first bit of HTML5 code. I hope you're as excited as I am. This video is brought to you by Pies Academy. So first you need some place to write the code. You may have heard me earlier mention brackets. That's Adobe's environment for writing code. If you'll point your browser to brackets.io and then click the big blue download button right here, you can download and install the software. You want to try and use the same text editor that I'm using, even if you already have one. So this way our screens will look exactly the same. Now when you open brackets, it looks something like this. I don't have anything open in here right now, so this is just the environment. Now to start a new file, I'm going to click File and New. I've made the text just a little bit bigger to make sure that you can see it well. So the first program that people traditionally write is called Hello World. And this goes back to the 70s when the C programming language was first being invented. The first program they wrote in C, which is a really old language, was a program that outputs Hello World. It basically became a tradition among programmers to write a Hello World program to make sure their environment was set up correctly and that the language that they were using was working. So in HTML5, we're going to be writing the Hello World program. Now, you might be wondering, why are we starting with HTML5? Well, first off, it's a really important language. HTML5 is used to outline what is displayed in the window in any application that runs in a web browser and in many mobile applications. So this is part of our display layer. And what I mean by display layer is exactly what the user sees. Let's get going. So the first line is called the doc type. And that doc type simply says that the type of this document is HTML. Now you're lucky that you're learning HTML in the HTML5 version. Earlier versions of HTML, that line was like three lines of text long. It had links in there and all sorts of characters like dashes and slashes that made it really confusing. But in HTML5, that's your doc type line. Now, before we write more code, I'm going to pause here and save my file. Now, the reason I want to do that here is once the file is saved, our brackets environment can be a lot more help to us than it is before we save the file. So to save the file, I'm going to click File and Save. I bet you could have guessed that. For convenience, I'm going to save on my desktop. So I'll click Desktop, and then I'm going to give the file a name. Now, since this is an HTML language file, we want to end this in .html. So let's call this first.html, just like that. First meaning it's first page. Now, traditionally, you want your file name to be all lowercase letters and make sure you have that .html at the end. You can save it on your desktop or anywhere else you want. Just make sure you're able to find it because we're going to want to actually run this in the web browser in a few minutes. So I'm going to click Save. Now, nothing quite happened yet, but now when I start typing, I'm going to get color coding and assistance in my code. Watch what just happened. I'm going to do that again. Watch real carefully as I type line two. I'm going to type HTML and close what's called a tag. And notice it gives me that slash HTML tag automatically. I didn't type that. That's being created by the brackets environment to help me out. I'm just going to press return so my code looks like this. So the first line of every HTML document after the doc type is what you see on line two. It's called the HTML tag, and it essentially says to the browser or whatever is reading it, hey, this is some HTML. On line three, we've got the closing HTML tag. That ends the HTML document and will generally be the last line. So now I'm going to press return before my closing HTML tag and have my cursor flash between the opening and closing tags here on line three. This is where we're going to work because the first tag is the HTML tag. The last tag is the closing HTML tag or the one that starts with slash. In HTML, closing tags begin with a slash. Keep that in mind. So our HTML document itself is divided into two sections. They are called the head and the body. Let's put those sections in. So I'm going to hit tab. Now the tab isn't necessary. It's just to keep things neat. And I'm going to add my head section. And again, brackets will help me by closing the head section with the closing head tag. Below that, 
I'm going to add my body section and brackets is going to help me by adding the closing body tag. I'll press return to put them on separate lines. So now your code should look like this. We've kind of got an empty skeleton here. This code won't do anything yet. We've got our doc type, which I explained before, just says that this is HTML. We've got our HTML tag, which opens and closes the document, and then two sections of our HTML, the head and the body. We noted that the head section looks like that, and the, then the closing tag has, starts with a slash. So we have opening head and closing head, right? Line three is opening, line four is closing. So tags frequently have content in them just like this. So now we're gonna work in the head section and we're gonna put the title. The title tag is very, very useful. The title tag is used three different ways. First off, your document's title tag, if the document is viewed in a browser, is gonna appear right here. See where I'm pointing? That information comes from the title tag. So hello world will display in the tab when we look at our document in the browser. Pretty exciting. So the title tag isn't really where we're gonna display hello world. We wanna display it in the browser window or the main part of the browser. So we've got our title in the head, but anything we wanna display in the browser window actually goes inside the body like this. Now we're gonna put our hello world inside of heading tags. And what this means is heading one is our boldest or most important heading in the document. So we have heading one, hello world. And this is gonna display in the actual browser window, nice and bold as hello world. So we've learned a couple of different tags here, starting with the doc type. We've got our HTML tag, which surrounds the document, the head tag, which surrounds the head of the document, the title tag, which displays in the tab of the web browser, and by the way, it's also used by Google if Google's gonna index your page. Then we've got the body tag, which surrounds anything that's gonna be displayed in the browser window, and our heading one tag for the most important heading on the page. So we've written our first bit of code, congratulations. You wanna make sure that everything looks just like mine. All your tags should be blue, and the content should be black, so the color coding should be the same if you haven't made any mistakes. It's one of the reasons we have the color coding, is to make it obvious if you make a mistake. Like for example, say I did that and the tag was written wrong, look what happened. That doesn't look right. But as soon as the tag is correct, then my content goes back to black, my tag goes back to blue, and all's good in the world. All right, so make sure once you've done all this, you save your document once again with file and save. And now we're ready to take a look at our work in the browser, which we're gonna do in the next section.